I have a question about Agetsi. Hey, thanks for checking in and taking responsibility for your education. We've got some frequently asked questions about iGetsy, and I just want you to know that these are very basic responses to these questions. So make a point of following up with an academic counselor so that you get the information that you need. What is it and how will it work for me? iGetsy, the intersegmental general education transfer curriculum, is a lower division transfer pattern designed for community college students. Once you complete iGetsy in its entirety, you are waived from the general ed at the UC system and the Cal State system. Once you've completed iGetsy, we will certify you here at Santa Barbara City College and you can earn a certificate of achievement in iGetsy. We will also send that certification to the UC or the Cal State campus that you decide to attend that following fall. I have a question. Is iGetsy a requirement for admissions to a university? No. Completion of iGetsy is not an admissions requirement, nor is it the only way to satisfy the general education requirements of the California State Universities or the UCs. IGETSI is not the only plan you could follow. There are other general education patterns that are available, but the IGETSI is the best, and we strongly encourage you to complete the IGETSI even though it's not required for admissions. I'm a science major. Do I need to follow IGETSI? When you're a science major, it is best to follow the exact courses that are listed on ASSIST. However, there are a few schools that do suggest you complete iGetsy, so it is best, again, to look on ASSIST to see if that particular institution does suggest that iGetsy is completed, in addition to the number of um, courses you'd be taking for chemistry and biology, etc. Do I need to complete all iGetsy requirements before I transfer? No, however, if you want to be completely iGetsy certified, you must complete all iGetsy requirements before enrolling at a UC or CSU campus. If you choose to get partially iGetsy certified, that would mean that you would complete all requirements except for one or two. If you choose to get partially iGetsy certified, that would mean that once you get to your school of choice, they would decide which course you would take to fulfill the requirement that you chose not to complete at the community college. Please note that students must have completed areas A1 and A2 in order to meet the minimum transfer admission requirements. So if you're choosing to do partial IGETSI certification and you haven't completed areas A1 and A2, it may mean that you haven't met the minimum admission requirements required for transfer. What if I have credits from another college? Will those count for IGETSI? Your credits will count if they come from an accredited institution. We would just want to confirm that they were identical to the courses that are offered on iGetsy for them to count, and we would need an official transcript as well. If I get a D in the iGetsy classes, will it still count? Oh, I'm sorry you got a D in that class. Unfortunately, it's not going to count for iGetsy. I encourage you to retake that class and get a higher grade or choose another class from the same section. I took a course listed in two iGetsy areas. Can I use it for both? No, even though a course may be listed in more than one area on iGetsy, it's only allowed to be used in one area. The only exception is a course that meets area 6A, language other than English. However, courses used for iGetsy can also count towards preparation for major courses, except individual CSU campus restrictions. I took advanced placement tests. Can I use those scores on iGetsy? Yes, absolutely. As long as you scored a 3, 4, or 5, those scores will count for iGetsy. Good job. So you can use your advanced placement scores for iGetsy, but keep in mind, you really can't use them for the critical thinking English composition area or the oral communication area. But in all other areas, it's fine to use your scores. Keep in mind that you can only use one course per section. 
I'm transferring next semester to a university. How will they know I completed IGETSI? Certification of IGETSI is a responsibility of the last community college that you have attended. In order to receive certification for the completion of IGETSI, please visit the Transfer Center and there they will give you a form that you complete and you submit there. You will need to make sure that you have official transcripts either on file with Santa Barbara City College or attached to the form that they provide for you in the Transfer Center. If there is a question that we didn't answer, please go to the Transfer Center website. You'll find lots of additional information there. Also, visit the Transfer Center or the Academic Counseling Center and speak directly with an academic counselor. Thanks again for checking in.